Hello YouTube. I hope everybody's doing fine. And I think this is my first video of this year. And I have something different. So after a long uh, wait on the to-do list, this is my CNC late build that I started and my new year's resolution is to actually finish it because I have quite a few machines that are not finished yet one of them is my PNP that just been sitting here so and uh, I apologize for the shaky video because I'm using it freehand because my tripod is not high enough to put this on a tripod so anyway this is what I'm working on the last uh, month I think and it all started out with this beam 80 by 200 millimeter heavy duty from Germany and uh, because these are heavy duty too these are from Bulgaria Germany Bulgaria and same goes for Turkey Turkey's heavy duty is that and I don't want to even see the light uh, uh, light version of the profile so anyway I'm using the heavy duty these are just support legs so it does not matter and uh, this was actually uh, supposed to be my gantry for my router that I wanted to build. I think I bought some parts for it uh, three or four years ago. And it's been sitting ever since because I did not have the money to buy the rest of the parts. And uh, in the meantime I figured this is going to be, this is 98 centimeters 980 millimeters long and uh, it will be definitely strong enough but I think it will be too heavy to move on a, as a gantry and especially if you have, after you put the rails and spindle and whatnot onto it so and then again I wanted to do something different so I started with this guy anyway so uh, let's get to the technical details i'm using uh, 25 millimeter rails actually these are only 23 but they go by 25 and um, let me take this off here this is not screwed down yet i did mount the uh, i forgot what it's called um sorry anyway if you're into late you know compound slide right or is a compound slide the one that's on top of it anyway i did mount these and on the bottom i used white blocks and these are narrow blocks which will be replaced by white blocks as well and the main reason is because the white blocks have the mounting holes 45 millimeters apart which is exactly what this profile is and this one for that matter so I can drill holes and mount it easily without having offset holes and here you can see the screws for the blocks those sit like this of course they go this way so I initially was going to use those on the top and make uh, the top plate out of aluminum as well and then I figured I want to expand on this machine and that's why I decided to use this this is heavy duty as well this is also from Bulgaria I actually did find a company here that sells all this stuff because otherwise you have to order it from China and uh, I don't want to know how the rails will look by the time they get here 
or you have to buy very very expensive from Germany and I could not do that either so after finding this company and the ball screws and stuff I had from another project and um, I decided to do this so anyway that's the compound slide and um, I'm using a 5 inch chuck which I found uh, I bought from Aliexpress but it was shipped from Germany so it only took like uh, seven days which is uh, beautiful and um, ball screws are 1605 this will be mounted here it will be attached from the underneath the carriage here I do have rotary encoders this one is for this axis this one is for that axis of course I'm not gonna put it all the way back here so I wanted to have it close to each other and the way I'm gonna mount the uh, uh, stepper motors usually that's the fixed side and you have the that's the it's not machined yet that's the wrong side this side will have to get machined and then go through here and normally you mount the stepper like that on here uh, in a straight line and I did not want to do that initially I thought initially I figured I will mount it on the back but then I had the idea of making a milling attachment as well and having a stepper back there it would get in the way so I will mount it actually here and then have it belt drive a short one with a reduction because you can have never enough torque and that way I can and since I don't need high speed on this thing and I will get a reduction here and that way the stepper motor will not stick out it will be underneath here this will move a little bit to this side so that's that and also another reason why I'm using this as the top plate is so I can attach a vise or whatever to it and I will also use this block of aluminum which will get mounted on here and I will have the headstock drill the holes for the attachments and I also have another uh, collect holder that I'm gonna mount here and uh, having a drill bit mounted in here I will drill a hole for a 12 millimeter rod and then it will get mounted like this and then I can attach any um, anything I want on here and this one here actually you can see some things I made here <clears throat> so it will have a center hole and then it will have a cutout like this so I can turn it like that and um, turn it and secure it down again so it will be hold with two screws instead of just one and then again I can put a, a milling bit in here and mill out the cutout for the regular tool holders I initially thought about using the tool holder for the lathe that you can buy but that thing is looks like a joke I don't know I mean of course there are bigger ones but this is for a mini lathe and this was supposed to be a small lathe as well but if I put this here I mean this looks like a joke so it will be milled out out of this uh, here I have some uh, well, cable chains are they called cable chains I think and uh, end stops and whatnot and uh, 
that's that. Um, I will have a spacer in between here to get the axial movement out or eliminate the axial movement because those are radial bearings. I did want to buy a nice headstock but they cost like an arm and a leg and uh, so that's not gonna happen this will have to do and uh, by the way I am making this thing to machine aluminum it will most likely machine stainless steel as well but I will work with aluminum so if anybody comes and says oh you have to make it out of steel no I don't so um as for the spindle motor it will be actually this guy here where is it here and that will mount in here and i have this oops sorry for the shaky and whatnot stuff all right let's drop it done anyway, at least it's steel it won't break so that will go on here and the spindle will have a reduction as well of course so the spindle goes out here to this with a pulley with a 15 millimeter wide belt and then from here up to here again with the belt so that way I will get a reduction because it's a 24 a uh, thousand rpm spindle and i'm not gonna turn this thing with 24,000 rpm obviously and again for this ball screw i had initial idea to mount it on here but then again it would stick out way too much and now it's gonna go in here and again it will be belt driven and that way I can get a reduction on that as well. So every reduction will give me more torque. As I don't need the speed. So, oops, my finger on the screen. Um, yeah, so far this is what I have in mind. Uh, I might change a few things and... Uh, more things will be added to it of course and I will keep you posted so if you want to uh, follow it please do subscribe and if you like it hit the thumbs up button I never said this before but uh, I'm kind of stuck at, um, at the subscribers I have and uh, this year I either grow or I will shut down um and once the lathe is finished i will make the plans available if you want to build it yourself if you want to build the same or similar to it and um well i guess this is not your usually dui lathe where you use uh, scrap metal and weld and whatnot. Uh, I cannot find scrap metal here and I cannot weld either. I could probably weld but I don't have uh, equipment and I like I rather like to work with aluminum and some of you might remember the CNC mill that I built it was almost one meter by one meter one by one meter and um, these profiles are strong and the rails and whatnot are strong enough and um, anyway this is it if you do have questions leave them in the comments if you have suggestions leave them in the comments and if you don't like it leave it in the comments and put your thumb down uh, as you know YouTube changed the um, policy you cannot actually see how many thumbs down there are uh, that's for the makers so they won't get upset I mean I don't care you can put thumbs down as much as you want I know I like it and that's what counts and I have one other person that likes it as well 
that's you adam thank you for hearing me out and whatnot and um yeah oh one more thing about the reduction i will have six to one reduction that gives me 4000 rpm uh, this chuck is only rated for 3000 rpm so if i need bigger speed i can use a smaller chuck to get uh, 4000 rpm and this is actually the uh, VFD that I'm gonna use and you know that these also always show the frequency and not the RPM and at uh, 400 uh, Hertz they run 24,000 RPM so if I divide that by 6 I have not 4,000 but 400 so this will show me the <clears throat> the RPM less one zero and I will also of course uh, attach an encoder on here to see the actual RPM and as well as on the um, on this ball screw so I can use it for cutting thread and uh, i think this is it um, again sorry for the shaky video but uh, i cannot make video any other way and um, this is part one and more to follow as soon as i can raise some money to buy some more parts right now i'm on the bottom <laughs> so anyway hope you like it Thanks for watching and take care everybody.